After a somewhat revealing session yesterday, it's time to get back to it. Let's go practice. Hi, I'm Brian from Airflow Music. Welcome back to another video. This is another in our Go Practice series. Hope you're having a great day today. If you saw yesterday's video, I was struggling a little bit with my response, particularly in exercise one. And so that's something I'm looking to improve upon today. Let me see if I can do a better job with that today than I did yesterday. To that end, yesterday's schedule was a little messed up. And when I came to record the exercises yesterday, the way it worked out was I had practiced in the morning, I'd done some other stuff, I had a couple of appointments, a couple of other things to do, and I came back and there'd been a break of probably a couple of hours before I sat down and actually recorded the exercises and went through the video. And so I didn't really warm back up properly and I think that was partly responsible. But also generally I've been so busy lately, which is, you know, very pleased about that's by no means a complaint but I've been playing a lot lately and as a result my practicing has slipped somewhat so even though I'm you know strong and in most of the good ways and everything seems to work fairly smoothly on the bandstand I'm aware that some of the the soft focus in what I'm doing is starting to get a little lacking so that's partly why it's good to get back to making these videos and really get myself back in the game make sure I'm taking care of all of these aspects. So that's what I'm focusing on today is really trying to get that focus a little quicker. To that end as I said I've just been practicing right before I filmed this video. Gotten a good warm-up, done some basic maintenance, even spent some time with the compression training system. Have we talked about the CTS yet? If you'd like to hear more about that then please drop me a comment down below and I'll make a video about it because that's an interesting gadget. Anyway, let's get into set nine, exercise one for today. I think we know what this is about by now, but I'm playing it as a long setting, which means that I'm keeping the mouthpiece on my lips throughout the entire thing, all 31 keys. And so this is a pretty long, long setting. If you're still building up towards this, or now we're using the wider expanding series, you're struggling with some of the higher notes, just leave those ones out play the lower notes along with me. We're not trying to force anything, we're not trying to hurt ourselves. If you need to take a break during the long setting and you're playing along, pause the video. Take a short amount of time, maybe 15 seconds, maybe even 30 seconds, and then just wind back to the one you left off at and start again from there. Play back along with me. That's probably the best way to deal with that. See how far you can continue to go in the long setting before you need to take a break again, or you need to call it for today. Either way is fine. We're not trying to hurt ourselves here, as I said in yesterday's video. We're trying to build something, okay? So getting so tired or making it so something is painful to play, that's not what I'm about. All right? So other than that, the focus is on playing in time, as I mentioned yesterday. And again, I'm breath starting the first note of each phrase, and I'm trying to breathe in time. And because I'm focusing on playing in time, the metronome's going, I'm tapping my foot along with it, and I'm subdividing the beat up here to try and help me really stay on top of the tempo. That's a little long-winded, because I think you know what the rules are by now. So let's get into set nine, exercise one.
My exercise one did feel a lot better today, on the whole. Uh, generally the response was much cleaner and much quicker and I felt more consistent, although there's still some moments um, at the very end there. That low F sharp got pretty weird. The low G right before it, that was a little slow to respond. So, these things are still coming back around for me and it's interesting, I hope, to see the progression in that. I know that if you have the same kind of things where it's inconsistent day to day in certain places, that's okay. That's what we all deal with. And um, it's important to remember that. You can feel lonely and isolated sometimes if we practice a lot. But hopefully that's one of the things that you get from these videos is that you see that, you know, you're not the only one dealing with something. So I hope that's helpful. Anyway, let's move on to exercise two. Um, we're playing the same old thing right here. We're going to go at 80 beats a minute one more time just so we can really keep this breath stretched out and start to get more comfortable with that. I'm going to make a better effort to breathe, engage, support properly and not go too loud, particularly on the, on the lower notes so we can keep on top of it and hopefully get through these things a little more smoothly. So yeah, Exercise 2 is the same thing we've been doing. It's largely slurred. It's slurred all the way through the flexibility pattern and slurred through the first time of the repeat of the developed scale. Then on the repeat, the second time of the developed scale, that's when we tongue. Okay? And once again, as I did yesterday, because it was such a success, I'm going to make three bars rest um, instead of two. Actually, three bars and a beat. Instead of two bars and a beat's rest, between keys. Okay, that should give us a better chance to catch our breath and be back on top for the next one. So, here's set nine, exercise two, 80 beats a minute with three bars rest instead of two.
Okay, classic case of my mind wandering when I'm practicing right there. So, I'm going to go back and do the last two lines again. So, this is 2K, the G major, 2L, the F sharp major. Here we go. Much better. I guess you might consider that a little extra peek behind the curtain, as it were. But yeah, this is what can happen when we're practicing. And again, sometimes it's good for me to... All right, when I'm recording these exercises, I always post a complete take. Because I don't always get things right. But then in an instance like that, that was very clearly as I came to the end of exercise two there. I was thinking about something else. Plain and simple. I was going through the motions and I was not concentrating. I was not staying present and really being in your practice and really paying attention to what you're doing is important and it's something we can get away from particularly when we deal with exercises we play a lot things that are repetitive things that we know somewhat so it's an important part of the practice habit is dealing with our concentration and making sure that that's in place as well. So, that was a complete take. I mean, I didn't edit anything out of the exercise portion there. And dealing with this concentration is something, it's part of the thing that we're practicing. It's not only playing the notes, performing the actions physically, it's also training our brains to be in the game mentally. So we can, you know, be prepared to make adjustments and do things that we need to do. It does require a bit of mental focus to do that sometimes. And so that's as much a part of our trumpet playing stamina as worrying about how our lips feel. Okay? Anyway, a bit of an interesting and different one as it turned out today. So that's all good. Good when these things come up. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please do click that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I'll aim to be back again tomorrow with another run through these. Maybe we'll start to pick up the tempo a little more on exercise two, if I can get my head in again. Okay? So, until I see you on the next one, I think you know what to do. Go practice.